All right, everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Uh, is this you right here in this picture? Is this all you want to do? And you're trying to figure out how to most effectively do that? Then this series of videos is for you. Um, I usually, about every year, I put together a list of things to buy. And this year, I think I'm going to break them out by power level and cost level. And not really cost, I didn't assign cost to them, but um, just more basic, intermediate, advanced. I used to do them all in one video, but the, the deal is that people just don't watch videos that are longer than five minutes. That's where we're at nowadays as Americans. So stay tuned. We'll, we'll dig into it. So the first video in the series is the recipe for a really mild build daily driver. You don't need any springs, no valve springs, no converter, no extra nonsense. You can run this through factory manifolds. You can run it on a stock tune if you have to. It should be good for 320 horsepower to the tires or more, which is probably double whatever your swapping had to begin with. Um, you'll be able to drive it anywhere. It'll have real nice manners, no advanced stuff. I, and before we dig into it, and the total cost on this is going to be under 500 bucks besides your engine. Um, so if you're, if you're following along and, and you're buying a complete engine from the junkyard or a complete running donor or, or something like that, you can have all this done for under a thousand dollars and there's no reason not to. But you have to kind of stick to the plan. If you buy a cam that requires no springs and no converter, then do not buy springs or a converter. If you're going to buy a converter or valve springs, buy a better cam. This video is not for you. Um, I, I run across that pretty regularly where people are like, ah, I bought this no springs requ required cam, but would it run better with a converter? Yeah, it would, but so would a bigger cam and it would make more power. So... Try to stick to the recipe. If this is what you're going with, 320 horsepower on pump gas sounds good to you. Follow along. Um, for this, I, I pretty much have come to the conclusion that the BTR cam is a really tough value to beat. It's low lift. It's got pretty wide duration. Uh, you're going to have to spin it a little bit, a little bit higher RPM probably. These things dyno when people actually dyno them. Most people don't, but when people do dyno them, they tend to land somewhere on a 4853, somewhere in the 350 rear wheel horsepower range, depending on, you know, who's dynoing it and what type of dyno it is and, you know, all that. It'll be a good time, I guarantee it. Um, I, I don't think that anybody's going to be disappointed in this cam. I don't know that this is the best price, but $350, the, the, it's an expensive cam but you don't need the extra $130 worth of valve springs and you don't need the extra $500 worth of converter for it. So that's the trade-off. Um, if you're willing to swing those other expenses, stay tuned for next week's video where we dive into that a little more. To go along with it, uh, these S10 headers, I don't think that you need long tubes at this power level. I've not seen it proven at all. I, I don't see any need for it or any cause for it. The factory truck manifolds will work fine if you can fit them in your swap. And if you can't, these S10 headers, they're everywhere on eBay and they're about a hundred bucks. They're stainless, they're thick walled, they're decent. The stuff's pretty good nowadays. So I would probably run these before I went out and bought the Trailblazer SS manifolds I used to recommend or like the CAS manifolds, the CPP, Summit, uh, a bunch of people make them. I just wouldn't bother with that for twice the cost. I just buy these S10 ones. They fit fine. On my C10, I have uh, speed engineering headers that were like 240 bucks, and I really just bought them because they're they look cooler, and I wouldn't have to do anything with the exhaust but run it straight back, which is all I've done. So, um, to fuel it, the Chemso 340 liter per hour pump. It's 30 bucks. It's still what I recommend. It's still what's in my daily driven Silverado. It's what's in my C10. You don't need any more fuel than this for pretty much any NA build. Um, you're not going to need to upgrade your injectors. You're not going to need to do anything else but put this together. 
tune it yourself or have it dyno tuned um and enjoy 330 350 horsepower maybe more i've i've seen dynos of, of that cam over 400 but i kind of question that i don't really believe it but whatever some dynos are happier than others that's why we don't race them it's why it really doesn't matter um so we're talking about 30 bucks 100 bucks 350 bucks what are we in 450 480 dollars 500 bucks a 500 dollar 350 horsepower build um you can't beat it it's definitely going to be more than than anybody else is running around with in your town most likely there's no real reason for the average guy to go much further than this i don't think but if you want to stay tuned i'll be doing a more involved build next week i'll update these every week until we get through to the 700 horsepower range so thanks for watching. I hope you guys found it helpful. We'll see you next time on The Driveway Engineer.